Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to uh, talk about groups that are left out in the United States. Those that get, uh, that get a raw deal. And how other people perceive them at times. Because I got a message. It's long. And I think it's in good faith. <laughs> which is a nice change. Um, so I'm, I'm going to read the whole thing and then we're going to go through it. Can you explain something to me? This isn't a gotcha question. I'm a your side of the fence conservative. I'm religious, so I don't approve of a lot of things that have become common, but it's not my business. I have a lot of sympathy for minority groups. Racial minorities, religious minorities, even out, even alphabet minorities. They get a raw deal in a lot of ways. I admit that. But a lot of them, especially younger ones, really seem to hate this country. Not in some racist, they're all the same kind of way, but they genuinely dislike America and American values. So here's my question. Do they not understand how hard it makes it for people to support them when they make it clear they want to completely change the country. I know they want change and can even agree there needs to be some, but those that want to tear it all down make it really hard to support the rest. I mean, there's a lot in that. Um, I do. I think this is in good faith. I mean, if it wasn't, I don't think you'd be sending it. Here's the thing. You acknowledge that these are groups that are left outside of American society. They get a raw deal, and you admit that. How can you expect them to want to uphold that society? I think that's a better question. I mean, I understand what you're saying. You see things that you will acknowledge. Hey, that's wrong. That needs to be fixed. And you want to stand up for them. But they say these other things, and that's just too far for you. I get it. I mean, first, acknowledge you don't have to co-sign everything that every single person in one of these groups says to support them in the things that you acknowledge are them getting a raw deal. You, you don't have to sign off on the whole thing. I would suggest that those, those issues where you admit they're getting a raw deal, even if you don't support them on the rest, you kind of have an obligation, right? To support them on those things. And I think that's why you're sending this. It's one of those things where you are encountering people who have been left outside the system, given a raw deal by the system, by the establishment, by the status quo, for so long with people looking at them saying, hey, <laughs> Well, they're getting a raw deal. Oh, well. That they've become more radical. Why would you want to protect a system that didn't protect you? Why would you want to uphold a system that left you outside of it? That Those places where you admit they're getting a raw deal... I mean, that's kind of the source of it, right? And it's interesting to me that you can see the raw deal, acknowledge that it's impacting them more than, I'm assuming by this, you were like a white heterosexual guy. Like you're, you're, you are just 100% within the, the, 
the norm box, right? You see them getting a raw deal. And you equate them wanting that changed with wanting to, uh, I guess they're rejecting America and American values. If you were getting a raw deal, would you like those values? Like everything that you're, you're saying in here, it, it, it all lines up with you seeing it, you acknowledging it's wrong. But you, you just want it changed a little bit. From their perspective, they see way more that's wrong because it's impacting them. And as far as why they're younger, they get a raw deal, they're younger, they want to tear it all down. I don't know why that's surprising. A child that is not embraced by the village will burn it down to fill its warmth. If you want to alter their opinions, you have to shift American values to something that includes them. You have to change it. If you want them to respect a system, it has to be a system worthy of respect. And if it's one that is leaving them out, giving them a raw deal, and, and even you will admit that, you really can't expect them to want to uphold it. They want the warmth. If you want to avoid that, you have to advocate for the change that you don't want to because, well, it's hard, I guess. Because they're not happy. I mean, it all flows together. Of course they're not happy. They're getting a raw deal. You have identified things that you will say is them getting a raw deal. I promise you that if you actively support them in, in those things, you're going to find out that they may be getting even more of a raw deal than you think. Because once you start supporting them, you'll be around more. You'll hear more. You'll understand more. This message, I don't think it's a gotcha question. I think it's in good faith, and I think realistically, this is you at the beginning of really starting to get it. One of those things where it's like you're so close, but you're actually trying to get there. You will. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.